Hello there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your tarot reading. Um, I am sincerely sorry that you guys are always uh, the last sign that I do, but um, either way, I hope this video finds you well, strong, and hopeful. Um, first of all, if you do decide to watch this reading, I would recommend that you watch it all the way, okay? Because I feel like you have some spiritual messages that are coming through and uh, when it comes to these spiritual messages um, it, it involves a story okay and so it can be a little bit I'm gonna sound a little bit long-winded so don't lose your patience bear with me and try to watch this through because I feel like there are important messages in here for you and I feel like it might explain a few things and I also feel like you might come out of it a lot more uh, ready for the month of February okay not that February is going to be scary it's going to be great but I feel like we need to take stock occasionally of where we have been in order to know where we are in in order to then know where we're going okay so hopefully this um, video will you know be helpful in giving you a sense of direction okay so when I was shuffling out this um, spread I saw a, uh, a movie, like an actual movie. It's the movie The Shawshank Redemption. I don't know if any of you have seen it. If you have not, please watch it. It is like one of the greatest movies ever made. It is amazing. It's a very transformative movie. So um, basically, now I, I, I can't talk about it because I don't want to give it away. But either way, so it's, a, it's about this man, right? So he's in prison. And he has to crawl through this sewer, okay? Um, he, he's crawling through the sewer and, you know, sewage water, it's like yucky and disgusting. And so he crawls through the sewer and then he comes out clean, okay? So um, without giving away any of the plot or any of the spoilers, there's a scene where he crawls through the sewer and he's like gagging because of how badly the sewer smelled. How, how how difficult it was for him to, you know, get through that ordeal. And then he came out and he's like bathed in the sun, okay? So it's about redemption, right? And so when I saw this, I was thinking, um, you know, looking at this card, and this is exactly what I saw. Um, we have here the eight of uh, wands, okay? But look at this uh, snake, it's a water snake, right? And look at all the stuff that's just floating around in the water. You have like acorns, you have uh, felled trees, you have rotting leaves. So like it's wading around in this mucky water and it's emerging, c coming up for air or even like emerging and coming out very, very clean, okay? So I feel as if, you know, for many of you, um, there is an interaction between you and another person, okay? And I also feel like, you know, the the situation itself was, um, was very, very difficult, okay? Um, I, I feel like the negative outweigh the positive in this connection. And it could be like a work situation, it could be a partner, it could be like somebody who's quite significant to you. I feel like in the past, you might have waded through, you know, these dark, murky waters with them. You might have um, gone through very, very intense, deep periods where you weren't sure if you're going to make it out alive, if you're going to emerge victorious, or if you're going to come out clean, okay? It was a, a very transformative relationship or ordeal that you had to get through okay and I feel like in order for us to make sense of it I'm sense I'm feeling like this was a very karmic connection okay and I feel that you have ended a karmic connection you have done everything within your power to not stray from I guess like to, to not buckle under the pressure. You have done everything within, within your power to get out of this situation or even to emerge from the situation without letting it drag you down, okay? 
I mentioned in the past, Sagittarius, you guys are very, very optimistic and you guys always, always bounce back, okay? So even in the toughest times, you know how to make a joke and you still find humor in a situation. And so the way that you live your life, I feel like it's very carefree. It's very live and let live and it's very forgiving. Okay, so no matter how, how much someone has wronged you, I feel that, you know, you, you, you don't hold on to grudges and you have learned early on to, to let things go. It's like, you know, water off a duck's back, okay? It's like being waterproof where nothing permeates your skin, nothing gets under your skin and nothing gets to you. And so I feel like because you're so buoyant and, and optimistic, this is the one situation, okay, that, that really got under your skin. And I feel like in, in, the, 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 um, in the midst of dealing with and then wrapping up this karmic connection, um, it was very, very hard. And I feel like it made you, alert, it, it made you, uh, it dull your light. It dull your sense of optimism. And I feel for many of you, you weren't really sure if you're going to come out of this the same person. If you're going to come out of this like bitter and resentful and jaded, or if you're still going to be your optimistic self. And I do sense for many of you, you came out on top for many of you. Okay, so whatever um, muck and smudge and slime and, and, and yuckiness that you've had to wade through, you emerge from it coming out the other side clean as a whistle okay and still as positive and as optimistic and as buoyant as ever we have here the queen of wands this is your energy this is self-empowerment this is coming into the sense of i'm leaving this behind because i don't belong here okay this is the realm of water this is not the place for you to be and here you're in your element so there was like choppy emotional waters that you had to overcome there was a connection with another person where they threw a lot of baggage at you they they they, they threw a lot of um i'm hearing as well like um they drag you down to a place that it, they, they drag you down to the place and strip you of your will to live. That's how bad it was. And I feel like you're seeing it for what it is. And I'm sensing that you don't want to be dragged down with them. You don't want to go, you know, it's like a, a sinking ship. Okay, you, you, we're going to like um, swim for it. We're not going to sink. We're not going to take it lying down. We're not going to be a doormat to another person. And we're definitely not letting them um, take us down with them. So I feel like you have fought back. You have reclaimed your life. You have decided to steer your life in a different direction. You have came, you came out of it victorious and now you're back in the driver's seat of your life and you're coming out like victorious, okay? I feel for many of you, this is something that, you know, might have happened in the, the year of 2019. And I feel like the, the 2019 time frame was like the last straw. It's like, that's it, you know, you cross the line, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to allow this. And I feel like there was a, a major shift, like a significant, um, like cutting off, okay? Like just cutting somebody off and, and, and not giving them any more of your resources. I feel for many of you, this could be financial. Somebody might be leeching off you financially and you're just like, nope, I'm, I'm, I'm removing that safety net. And then for others, this is like somebody who constantly, constantly gets in trouble and they constantly reach out to you um, to, to bail them out of trouble. And you're like, no, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm, I'm taking back my power. And then for others of you, this is somebody who's like very, very self-absorbed. And I feel like every time they call you, there's some drama. Every time they call you, there's some issue or some problem with them that, that you know, they can't resolve on their own. 
And, you know, being a fire sign and being the warrior and being the, the adventurous sign, we like to experience things. We like to know. So we're always like willing to jump in and help somebody who's in distress, right? But if it keeps happening over and over and over and over again, then you're just like, you know what? You need to learn to take care of yourself. So I feel like there is a major um, breaking away that you have done in regards to this person, okay? So that's what I'm feeling first. I see you through the month of February, looking back at your life, okay? Reminiscing and thinking about and, and reflecting, okay? And I feel like you might be talking to somebody, maybe um, like somebody who's younger than you, and giving them advice. And then I feel like in the process of like giving people advice or in the process of um, uh, in the process of like looking things over, I feel for many of you, you're going to look back at certain events in your life. You're like, I can't believe I survived a divorce. I can't believe I was in an abusive relationship and, you know, I was brave enough to walk away even though I was very, very scared. I can't believe I put myself in a, an abusive relationship. I can't believe the, the the things that you know this person lied to me about that I put up with for so long and so I feel like you're really reflecting on the past experiences and all the especially all the negative things that you have been through and you're just like there is a God up there because everything that I, I have been through should have broken me but I came out on top, I survived, right? So I feel for many of you, even if you don't believe that there is a higher being, even if you're just watching this video recreationally and you don't believe that there is like um, a grand design or there is, you know, like a, a divine helping hand behind the scenes. Uh, if you are a Sagittarius and you have been, you know, crawling through the sludge, okay? And you came out clean and I feel like it says a lot because all of these things would have broken a normal person. But not only were you like more optimistic than other signs, but I also feel like you had a there there was a divine hand at work here to carry you carry you through to salvation, okay? And so I feel that you're looking at your life and you're just like all the crises that I've averted, you know, all the times that I've gotten myself out of trouble. I feel that you are starting to believe in the divine. I also feel that you are a lot more in touch now with possibly an ancestral spirit that is protecting you. Um, maybe even your spirit guides steering you away from trouble and into safer water. So I definitely feel that you are coming into the sense of like, I believe in the divine. I believe that there's something out there. I believe there's a helping hand behind the scene that has, you know, uh, helped me avert these crises in the past. Okay, so now we're kind of like at square, like um, at, at ground zero, like, like phase one, okay? Where we have been through the sludge, we came out, and now we're just like, okay, what's the next thing I'm going to get myself into? Learn from the past and make sure that whatever you get yourself into, if it, if, if it even reminds you of the past, leave it alone, okay? If it even smells like the past, leave it alone. Because I feel that it's like a lot of the times with Sagittarius, out of sight, out of mind, right? And so don't let history repeat, okay? If it smells like that sludge that that you had no business being in, crawling through, having to deal with, leave it alone, okay? So that's what I want to say. Um, because I do feel there is going to be communication coming back through for you from the past. And so if it smells like the past, leave it alone. Um, what I have here is um, I feel like there's somebody who's trying to break the ice with you. I have here the penguin, and this is the nine of cups, okay? Uh, wish fulfillment. But the way I look at this penguin, this is like the Sagittarius card. Look at the face of the penguin. 
it's kind of like, huh? Are you talking to me? It's kind of like that. Um, there's like an iceberg right behind this penguin. And so I always think of this as like breaking the ice, okay? Trying to get your attention, trying to uh, get their way in with you, trying to reach out to you, uh, trying to find a way to like make that connection with you or reconnect with you. You have a lot of things that is uh, bringing you a lot of happiness and stability right now. Look at all those shells. The shells are water, by the way. So like this would be the Nine of Cups, okay? So you have all these shells. The, the, the penguin has all these shells that it has been collecting for quite some time. Okay, and they also, I believe, eat like mollusks and seashells and, or, or whatever, sea creatures, sea urchins as well. And so I feel like you're in an environment where all your needs are met. You're very, very happy. You're very content with the trajectory of your life. And then all of a sudden, the past rears its ugly head, okay? We have here the King of Swords. And um, this could be an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Okay, it doesn't have to be. But I feel a little bit of a cunning, uh, self-serving, calculating energy with this, this character. Not that air signs are like this, but just the way this card came out. Um, we have as well, Eight of Wands. Communication, arrows of love, okay? Things happening very, very quickly and communication coming through. I feel like you had a tumble in this dark water with this person in the past. Um, and there's a spectrum here. For some of you, you were smart enough to get away before you were mired, uh, you know, neck deep in that mucky water, okay? And then for others of you, you might not have gotten away fast enough, might not have, you know, foreseen the consequences, and you were really tumbling down this dark abyss with this person. That's what I'm feeling. Um, I feel that they're calculating. I feel that they're a little bit more on the self-serving end. I feel like everything that they do is very measured, very calculated, and I'm hearing, you know, uh, what can I get out of this person? Like, what's in it for me? Like, someone who's very, very egocentric and someone who's all about me, me, me. And so I feel like this is someone who is selfish. And I, I feel like... Emotionally, you were very, very invested in this person. You gave them your all. Okay? You gave them a lot, you gave them everything, you gave them your all. And I feel like they, they never reciprocated, okay? They, it's, it's, it seems to me as if I'm looking at this, the, the king, okay? The kings, they expect the peasants to come to them with the harvest with the tributes, with the, um, the, it's like collecting taxes, right? I, I feel like this person has a sense of entitlement, like, oh, I expect the Sagittarius to do all of that for me. You know, I, I don't need to lift a finger, the Sagittarius will come running at my beck and call, or even, you know, they'll, they'll do it for me because, you know, they love me or because whatever it is, there, there is a sense of entitlement about this person. They don't have to do anything, but they expect you to do everything. And I feel like when they communicate with you, you might have been wanting this person to communicate with you. As much as you have learned from the past, as much as uh, you have realized now and reflected on everything that you've been through, Sagittarius, I feel like you know you have you, you might not have that institutional memory. It's like, remember what happened five years ago with this person and they really, really hurt us? It's like out of sight, out of mind because you guys are very, very innocent and you guys are don't hold grudges and you guys are very willing to let bygones be bygones. But remember what this person did five years ago? And so you might have forgiven this person, okay? Uh, yes, they dragged you through the mud, but you moved on. So, you know, out of sight, out of mind. And so they're trying to come in to communicate. And for some of you, it could be like, you know, just somebody who, who um, things weren't that bad. 
okay? And so you're willing to forgive. And then for others, it was really bad. And so there's a spectrum here. And depending on where this person, where your experience with this person lies along that spectrum, whether it's really, really bad or whether it was like bad, but not devastating, it's still pretty bad. And so I feel like they're connecting with you. They see you in a state where you're really happy. You're living in a space of plenty. You have enough food. You are, you know, in your element, a penguin on a glacier. That's, you're in your element. And then, you know, enough time has passed where they're just like, okay, I can reach out now. Maybe they're no longer mad at, at me because they know you well. They know that you forgive and forget. And they know that, you know, out of sight, out of mind. And so they know that if they hurt you, you know, four months ago, four months is enough time for a Sagittarius person to heal. So I can reach out and the Sagittarius person might miss me. And so there's communication coming in. And, and in some ways, many of you have been manifesting it. Many of you have been wanting to hear from this person. I do feel that you do miss this person. And for some of you, they're not entirely all that bad, but I feel like whatever interaction you had with them, it, it was difficult. It was like, it dragged you into a, into the emotional waters that you were not comfortable with, okay? And they're reaching out again. And I feel for many of you, when they reach out, you're worried. I have here eight of feathers, eight of swords. What do I do? What do I say? What do they want from me? Should I ask them what they want? So you have like all of these questions circulating in your mind. And I feel like you're not really sure. And I, I'm just sensing this person has a sense of entitlement about them. Where if they reach out, they expect you to respond. And I feel that you don't want to fall back into old habits. And yet you have this very instinctive and, and programmed response. When they uh, text me, I respond. When they email me, I respond. When they call me, you know, I come running. It's like, it's very, it's very programmed. It's very instinctive. It's, it's like a, a habit that's very hard to break. You're making really good strides with your life, Sagittarius. You're heading towards great things. You're independent and you're very happy right now. So if it smells like the past, you might want to leave it alone, okay? I feel for many of you, um, this is a relationship partner. For others, this is like a, a job situation. And I'm sensing like you did a lot for this company and they kept wanting more and more. They kept feel, they, they felt like it was their right to extract and demand more of you. And you gave and gave and gave. And I feel that, you know, you're moving on. You're really happy where you're at right now. And they're like, hey, do you want this higher position that uh, we didn't give you before, but now we want to give it to you? Don't go back to it, okay? Um, don't go back to it. It's like... It's the same old spiel. It's the same old trick. It's the same old cycle. Nothing has really changed here. And I know that a lot of the times, you know, we have an emotional pull to a person because of the way we feel about them. And um, it can be really, really hard, okay, to kind of, um, to, to try to not be lured in. And then, I also feel for many of you the, the whole concept about redemption, okay? And this is what I really love about Sagittarius people. You guys believe in, you know, the whole concept that people can change, right? Because you looked at your past experience. Look at everything I've been through. It didn't break me. It made me a stronger person. And so you feel like people can change. People don't always have to be mean and nasty and vindictive. People can change with the right environment, with the right love, with the right support. People can change. So you're very big on giving people, you know, second chances. You believe in rehabilitation. You believe that people can change with the right love and care and environment. And because of that too, you might not have that institutional memory that, you know, 
this person, you, you want to give them the benefit of the doubt. You hope that things have changed. But I can assure you, if it's like within the past year, nothing has really changed. If you're giving them five years, ten years, then yes, there's progress, there's, there's movement, there's change. And maybe, you know, this time around, it can work. But if it's just a year, a span of a very, very short period of time, relatively, right? It's not enough time to see any long lasting change. And so I do sense they're reaching out, wanting to break the ice with you. But once again, don't get yourself twirled back into this dark abyss that you work really, really hard to recover from and to, you know, uh, climb out of, okay? I'm seeing it's like a whirlpool in the ocean and the water is just turning black, okay? So I do sense that it's not negative. Okay, so I, I'm just going to leave it at that. And once again, you know, everyone has their own free will. If you want to um, give this another go around, if you feel that you need to do it for closure, for, for knowledge, for whatever reason that you feel you need to do it with, I'm, I'm not going to stop you. I can't stop you <laughs> and I also feel that you know a lot of the times we want closure right and so maybe approaching this in baby steps might be better than just plunging right in okay and then looking at this person a little bit more skeptically because I do sense that nothing has really changed here and um, it doesn't help what I'm gonna say next I do feel this person has really missed you and I feel like they have really felt your presence. And I know that's not going to help. Um, but once again, Sagittarius, I feel that you deserve a lot more. I feel like this person might be giving you crumbs. Okay, and you deserve a lot more. And you have a lot more. You have a lot more abundance. So if you've been trying to manifest a reconciliation or even contact or even communication, you're definitely getting it here with this wish card here, the nine of um, cups. Okay, so we're moving on. What I have in the middle, we have here the page of pentacles. Okay, this is the sly fox. Okay, um, this is about being really crafty and learning how to take care of yourself. Okay, and Sagittarius, taking care of yourself is not just about, you know, finding where the food is, finding shelter. It's not just about finding a hole that you can crawl into when it rains outside so that you're uh, away from the rain. It's not just about, you know, being able to hunt. Taking care of yourself uh, in, in an emotional way is also self-care. It's also about being smart, okay? And a lot of the times I feel like Sagittarius, you don't take care of yourself emotionally that um, emotional health might not be as important to you, okay? And so when it comes to your emotional health with this page of pentacles, it's about learning what works for you. It's about learning what makes you happy. It's about learning what brings you joy. And then on the flip side of that, learning what doesn't make you happy, learning about what doesn't give you joy and learning what you shouldn't have in your life so that you're not dragged down emotionally. And once again, I'm going to defer to this person right here. Knowing what you've been through and how to avert those deep emotional, you know, um, I would call them like little puddles that on the surface, they look really, really shallow. And then you step on them, you just want to splash around in your rain boots, you step on them and you sink all the way in. So on the surface, it looks very harmless, but underneath it's like muck, okay? And so I feel like we need to be very aware of, of our emotional well-being and what and who we should avoid so that we don't... Um, so, so that our emotional state is not disturbed, okay? So I do feel there's a lot of learning here. Learning what works for you emotionally and learning what uh, doesn't work for you emotionally. So, that's, I, I'm, I'm done with this uh, area, okay? I'm not going to lecture anymore, but um, I do wanna move on here. Um, what I'm seeing as well 
is um, I feel like there is definitely like a new person, a new connection that's going to be coming into the picture for you. And I feel like this is a person as well that uh, will make you very happy, okay? And the, the first thing about this person is uh, when you meet this person, and I feel like for the month of February until the month of May, so February, March, April, May, this is um, the, the coming of this person into your life. And what I have here is an earth sign. So we have here the queen of crystals or the queen of pentacles, okay? This is like a hedgehog, okay? And when I saw this card, I was thinking automatically about somebody who's a little bit prickly, somebody who's a little bit like, they, they have really, really thick skin, okay? They, they don't get hurt easily. You can say whatever you want to say to them, and they don't take offense to it. So they're, they're just like, they've been through a lot. They've dealt with many, many different types of people. They're not um, like overly sensitive. They've been through the ringer as well. So I feel like you're meeting somebody who has really experienced life, who might have also been dragged through the mud, and who has come out squeaky clean. And so when the two of you meet each other, I feel like there's a mutual sense of understanding. We have the High Priestess and the Queen of Pentacles, okay? So this is like a mutual understanding, intuition, uh, sensing like the, the soul of another person, understanding the other person. Like having a very, very deep emotional, spiritual connection with another person where they can just tell you, yeah, I, I've been through a bad relationship and you get it because you have also been there, okay? And they could tell you like, oh yeah, I was in an abusive relationship. You sympathize because you have already been there. And so I feel like there's a lot of similarities when it comes to bad, uh, like past experiences. But at the same time, I do feel that, you know, while you're still very happy and giddy and you survived it all, this person is a little bit more on the jaded end, okay? So look at how uh, they're a little bit more on the gloomy end. They're a little bit more pragmatic and they're going to come in with their quills to protect themselves. So I feel like in the spirit of self-preservation, this person has created a, a wall or a barrier or like a, a tough skin to protect themselves from being hurt. And when people are like this, they're usually very soft and cuddly and warm under the surface, but you have to give it a lot more time in order for that side of them, in order for them to trust you to show that vulnerable side of them. So I do feel like you're peas in a pod, okay? I feel like you're amused by this person. I feel that the emotional or the communication between you and this person is very humorous and because I feel like you both understand each other. And then I also feel like you're able to extract a lot of humor or you're able to make the other person laugh or you're, you find this person amusing. Um, I also feel like you find them not in a bad way, but I feel like the things that they do, you find them, they might be, for example, clumsy, and you find that endearing. They might be very pessimistic, and you find that endearing. They might be like kind of moody, and you find that endearing. So I do feel like this, per this person here, it's a little bit of an oddball, okay? And when I think of an oddball, I automatically think like Aquarius people, because Aquarius are very eccentric. And then right on top of it, we have the star card, which is the card of Aquarius. So for some of you, you might be dealing with Aquarius. For others, you might be dealing with a, an earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. And either way, I feel that you're going to find this person very endearing, okay? You're going to be really happy with this person. And I do sense the, the connection. It might be very friendship-based from the very beginning, and then the attraction grows and grows and grows over time. So it, it's, it's just like very unassuming. It's a, a relationship that before you know it, you're in a relationship. So it starts out on a very friendly platform, which is great. And then I feel that it can develop into something a lot more because you, you have a lot of fun with this person, okay? Um, so with this new person, I feel like everything that you have been through and everything that they have been through, the two of you are coming together to kind of like restore each other's faith in humanity and to kind of like help each other heal. 
the star is all about healing. It's about wish fulfillment. It's about you know having that sense of serenity or surrender in your own life and just allowing things to flow, right? The, the swan in the water is very graceful. It flows on top of the water. So it's like not sinking down to that level of the muck, the mud in the bottom of the pond, but like skimming the top, keeping yourself clean and allowing yourself to kind of like sail away and not be bogged down with things. So I do feel like this is a relationship that can really help you uh, restore your faith in mankind, um, peel away all the gunk that accumulated in your past interaction with negative people or even negative situations so that you can, you know, kind of like have your own sense of emotional balance again, okay? Justice. This is all about balance. This is all about harmony. And so we have a lot of things here that indicate to me the beginning of something new after you have gone through a tremendous uh, period of healing. And the healing can only start when we purge things that are no longer good for us. And in the process of purging, you know, you can't purge the good stuff and keep the bad stuff. You have to really know what works for you. You have to really know who's making me happy and who's not. You know, this situation might feel like very emotional roller coaster ish It's very up and down. It's very exciting at the same time. But I also feel it can be draining. I can also feel like it got you into an emotional space that was not happy for you and it made you doubt yourself and when we're in a situation and dealing with people that that can be very confusing they send mixed signals it can be so aggravating Sagittarius you don't tolerate that in your friends you don't tolerate that with family members and yet I feel like you tolerate it with this person which is saying a lot because I feel that in the realm of emotions, you got swept away with the tides and I feel like this person really dragged you down. And so we want to look at things in our lives, take stock about where we are right now, what we really need to be happy, who is alongside us, not giving us problems, but supporting us rather than, you know, dwelling on who's behind us, still trying to lure us back and not really giving us anything. Right? And so I feel this is a month about clarity, about getting to the root of what makes you emotionally fulfilled. Okay? Focus your energy on that, focus your intention on that. And in the process of figuring out, you know, this is good for me and this is bad for me emotionally. So once you kind of like figure that out i feel like you can then start to manifest and draw in the things that actually make you a lot more happy okay um i hope the reading is helpful i hope this uh, video finds you well and i do wish you all the very 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 best for the month of february you have the past and then you have the present even the future and so you can go either way sagittarius but I do want you to be happy and I do want you to, you know, um, move away from whatever troubled you, okay? Move away from the muck and be, for, for whatever reason, the whole concept about the smell, the smell is um, coming in very strongly. And you know, a lot of the times too, um, our, our, our pH balance, our body chemistry, right? Um, it is very different. It varies from person to person. So for example, you can have like a bottle of perfume and you can spray it on yourself and smell it and it smells different from like your sister who sprays the same um, perfume or from somebody else like a stranger. So our body chemistry uh, affects the smell, okay? And so I feel there's a very strong message here about the smell. If you're, if you meet somebody and the way that they smell not that they have, you know, body odor, but for if there's like a cologne or a perfume that they use and it just doesn't agree with you, it means like on a chemical level, it's probably not uh, the right person for you because it's an evolutionary way 
to detect who's a good mate for us and who might not be, okay? And so I feel like if you're dating, if you're speed dating, and you have very, very little time to make up your mind, uh, that might be a really good, you know, gauge to go by. I mean, granted, everything else has to be in place, right? Like they have to be nice, they have to be adventurous, they have to be outdoorsy and, and all the things that you love. And then, you know, on top of that, the smell. Maybe the smell is like the quickest giveaway for you as to, you know, who might be a good fit, okay? So, I will leave it at that. Uh, Sagittarius, please take care of yourself this month, okay? I will talk to you guys soon. If you are in need of spiritual guidance, um, I do have a link in the um, description box below. And it's going to take you to a website for a colleague. Her name is Bridget. She's a psychic based out of California. If you, you need guidance, if you're, you know, uh, looking for guidance for somebody else as well, I highly recommend that you get a reading with her. I will leave it at that. Please take care of yourself and I will talk to you guys soon. Have a very wonderful Valentine's Day for those celebrating. And um, I will be back for your reading. I will try, I promise. I will be try. Um, I'll try to start with Virgos and then go from there, okay? Take care and uh, have a wonderful February.